Historians of the 21st century are experiencing the consolidation of the digital turn. The web, as a virtual space for knowledge production and consultation, is no longer merely an option, but an absolute must for anyone with an interest in the past. It has provided us with an abundance of data to choose from, but at the same time, it has made one of the core tasks of the historian more difficult, applying source criticism to the sources they use. How do we verify the origin and authenticity of digital sources that are published on the web? Here are some examples. Photo or film? What is the relation between Mybridge's 24 glass plates of a trotting horse that could be viewed as motion picture with a zoo praxiscope in 1878, and the animation of this sequence that can be found on YouTube, Pinterest, and Wikipedia. Airwaves are digits. What is the relationship between the interviews recorded on steel wire by David Bowder in 1946 and what you can hear and read? on the interactive website about Boda, launched in 2009. Is an email a letter? What is the difference between reconstructing Hillary Clinton's network via her emails that were released by the US government and identifying Margaret Thatcher's inner circle through her written correspondence? All these questions connect to an earlier radical change in the profession of the historian, known as the archival turn, which took place at the end of the 19th century. The archival turn changed historians' perspective. Until the mid-19th century, leading historians tended to see history as a sequence of events that fitted with the logic of a greater idea. These philosophical approaches had little to do with the laborious task of critical source analysis that was taking place in archive collections. One of the driving forces behind this change was the German scholar Leopold von Ranke. Born into a Protestant family in Saxony in 1795, he is seen as one of the fathers of professional history. Yet there seem to be a number of misconceptions about Ranke. He was not the first to introduce source criticism. There were predecessors in Germany, France and Italy who are less well known. Nor was he a propagator of a mere factual recollection of the past. On the contrary, according to Ranke, history was all about understanding the ideas behind the factual events. Ranke was, however, pivotal in the dissemination of the critical method in the academic realm through his seminars at the University of Berlin, a teaching method that was his innovation. He succeeded in convincing generations of colleagues and students that proper history should be based on archival evidence and the use of primary sources. The archive is where, according to Ranke, historians could trace back who had created the document, under what circumstances, at what time, with what means and for what purpose. This external source criticism focuses on the origin, creation and appearance of a source. Internal source criticism assesses the evidential value of a source and its stylistic and literary appearance. What does it say about the topic that is studied? The challenge that we face is how to translate these principles to digitized and born digital sources. Critical reading and thinking have to be complemented with a more technical and mathematical understanding of digital phenomena. It is important to be able to identify alterations and loss of context 
that occurred during the transformation from analog source to digital data and to be able to trace back the contributors of a wiki or the location from where a tweet was posted. Another layer of manipulation is the selection bias of search engines. They have permeated our library systems and increasingly determine the frame of our research and most importantly, the mindset of our students and pupils. How can we teach them to discern the political and commercially driven mechanisms of search technology? Who is on the web and who is not? And how high is the ranking? To find out, tune into our lesson with literature and assignments that connect the traditional concept of source criticism with its contemporary digital version.